Hello, my name is Glenn Dorsey and I have um, about 35 years experience in design and manufacture of slip rings. And I'm going to present a series of instructive videos on slip ring technology. This particular video covers the basics of how slip rings are designed and manufactured. Slip rings are electrical devices that transfer electrical power and signal from a rotating to a stationary platform. This is an example of, uh, of an industrial slip ring, and you'll notice that this, the leads on this end of the slip ring rotate relative to the leads on, on the other end of the slip ring. So that allows the, uh, the power and the data to, uh, to move from the stationary side to the rotating side. Before we look at the internal workings of the slip ring, let's talk a little bit about the assembly itself. This is an example of a little larger slip ring, and you can see if I slide the housing back, a set of rings in there. Protective housing uh, provides environmental protection to the slip ring. That's normally referred to as the slip ring's IP rating, uh, which, which specifies the moisture resistance as well as the dust resistance of the part. Here's an example of, uh, of what those modules look like. This is a, a slip ring module uh, with discrete rings. Uh, and this is an example of the, the brush block. The brush block rides on a slip ring and this, these sliding electrical contacts are what provides the transfer of signal and data from the stationary to the rotating side with sliding electrical contact. So this is the the heart of the slip ring assembly. So before we look at the internal workings of the slip ring, let's notice a few things about the assembly itself. You can see that the way the rings are built, um, there's a ring, and then we stack an insulator, and we stack another ring, we stack an insulator, and we stack another ring, and this assembly is stacked and, and ends up looking like this. Now, this particular one has been molded. That's another way you can do it. You can load the slip rings in a mold and mold the insulator around the slip ring. Uh, slip rings come in several different sizes. Uh, here is a, a stack, <laughs> is a stack of rings uh, showing some of the smaller slip ring assemblies. Uh, some of these are quite tiny. And these are instrumentation slip rings that have been used for many, many years in devices such as uh, sensors, as well as inertial navigation platforms. Um, and, and actually were the first uh, common form of uh, instrumentation slip rings. This is the other configuration that you see in slip ring assemblies. These are called platter rings. And you can see instead of uh, stacked axially on a shaft like this, formed radially. And this particular one is on a printed circuit board but they can also be on a, a, a different kind of insulator as well. What happens with these rings is you can stack uh, multiple rings um, on, a, on an assembly. These green parts are the brush blocks and the parts between those are the slip rings and they, they can be double-sided in the case of this double-sided platter ring. So there's um, multiple a slip ring and brush block assembly stacked on the shaft. So you get a very low profile um, assembly with, with, with very high density uh, circuit count. So this is the other configuration called uh, platter assemblies. In wind turbines, there's uh, pitch control systems that are mounted on the hub uh, and need to get power and signal from the cell. And these pitch control systems control the pitch angle of the blades to uh, optimize the, the wind turbine performance based on wind speed. It's interesting to note slip rings don't have to be round. They, this one is uh, mounted in an electrical enclosure so that wires can be brought into this enclosure uh, and terminated to the terminal bars here. Over here, our customers bring the wires in through this uh, environmental fitting uh, into this region here where they're attached uh, to these connectors. This is a larger a larger assembly, you can see again, this set, of, this set of terminals rotates relative to the terminals that are located in this housing. You can see some fairly large rings here. These are 50 and 100 amp rings uh, up here and smaller signal rings down here. 
So um, in follow-up discussions, we'll be talking more about the critical parameters uh, that make up slip ring performance, as well as some of the materials for, that we use for sliding contacts and other things that you may find interesting about slip rings. So please join me.